So did you know that over 50% of teacher interview candidates fail their interview because they're not prepared for the right questions? So if your interview is this week, do not panic because in the next few minutes, I'm going to share a powerful strategy that could make or break your next interview, as well as I'm going to give you three simple tips that will build your confidence and help you crash your next interview. I want you to go and get that pen, get that piece of paper and get those notes ready because we're going to get started right now. Hey everybody, Gordon Emerson here, superintendent of schools and Gallup certified strengths coach. And on this channel, we leverage my experience from classroom teacher all the way to school district superintendent to help you go further faster in your educational journey and in your leadership building. If this is your first time with us, welcome in. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification so you don't miss any cool updates or any of our latest content or episodes. Everybody, welcome in. Another episode and another conversation about the interview. Just remember that the interview, it opens the door, it unlocks the opportunity for you to be in that classroom, for you to be amongst your students, for you to be able to go about your life's passion of teaching and educating and helping kids learn and helping to grow the next generation. And so in today's episode, we want to share strategies, tips that are going to help you. If you've got an interview this week, you can take these strategies and put these in place right away and it might unlock for you the next opportunity. So let's not waste any time. Let's jump right in with strategy number one. So the first thing we want to talk about is what we'll call a high impact interview strategy. And I think you should be incorporating this into any interview that you have at any level, classroom teacher, teacher on special assignment, assistant principal, principal, any position in and around a school or a school site or a district, you want to really talk about this concept of aligning your philosophy to the school or district's vision. So for the purposes of today's episode, we're talking about the teacher and the teacher interview. So what does this mean to align your vision to the school's vision? Spend some time learning, growing, and understanding the school site that you wanna be a part of. Take the time to peruse the internet. Take the time to peruse social media. Find out what the school's excited about. Find out what they're proud of. Find out what their signature programs are. Are they a STEAM school? Are they a dual language immersion school? Are they, in a, are they into innovation and robotics and technology? Are they into career pathways? But getting those insights, figuring out what their signature, what their calling card is, is the first way to then figure out does the school's vision and the thing that the school cares deeply about, how does that align with what I want to do and, and who I am as an educator? So then you start to think about what your philosophy is and what you believe in and what you want for kids. And then you see how that aligns with the school that you're interviewing at and that you're going to be spending time potentially growing and learning about. So take the time to research. Take the time, if you can, drive by, drive through the community, drive through the neighborhood, see what the school looks like, look at the facilities. You don't even have to go inside, but just get a feel. You know, visualizing is a powerful process. And then once you can drive by and visualize and see what it looks like, see what it feels like, see what the neighborhood and the community surrounding it looks like, then you do your research and you read about their school plans and you read the things that they talk about as achievements and things that they're proud of on social media. And now you start to see these, these alignments, these things that connect with you, these things that resonate with you. And you build that directly into your interview responses. I cannot stress how important it is to try to connect the dots. You're connecting the dots for the principal. This is a powerful make or break strategy because you want them thinking, man, this candidate knows about us. They researched us. They care about this job enough to have 
done their research, then done their due diligence and found out about our school. Because what we are as educators, what I was as a school site principal and what I know many of our principals now, we are proud of our schools. We are proud of what we're building. We're proud of what we're creating. And we want people to join us that have the same passion, the same desire, and the same hopes and dreams for the kids that we serve. And so the faster you can connect who you are and what you do with what the school does and what the school believes in, the faster you will make those authentic connections with the principal and the hiring committee. All right, let's talk about the very first supporting interview technique that I want to share with you. And that is to use and apply a framework that is a powerful way to tackle scenario based questions. Because remember, after we get past the very first question, which is tell us about your knowledge, your experience, your education, and what are the characteristics and qualities that qualify you for the job or make you a good fit for the job. Once we get past that, we're going to get into some very, very specific scenario based questions, things about lesson plans, thinks about classroom management, thinks about collaboration, thinks about assessment, thinks about infusing technology, thinks about what do you know about content standards? What do you know about common core standards? All those different things and a number of different variations of what those questions might be. But you can apply the STAR method to being able to answer those questions in a very, very specific kind of methodical way that will help to organize your thoughts and your responses. So star, situation, task, actions, and results. And you take each question that you get and you think about the situation, and you think about what task would be appropriate, you think about what actions that you will need to take, and then you think about the results that would be, uh, that would come after, and then what you do about those results potentially going back through the situation, task, action, and results again and again and again. But applying that, and the reason why I suggest this framework is because when we're in an interview, we want to do two things. We want to maintain our nerves, meaning we want to keep our breathing consistent. We want to try to minimize the shakiness in our voice. We want to project confidence. We want to make sure that people know that we are up for this task. And so by having a framework that we can rely on, it gives us something to be able to kind of take ourselves back to, to kind of recenter and refocus our attention. And so having a framework will keep our emotions in check, but also gives us a very clear methodical way to answer questions. Because the other thing we want to do is want to be clear. We want to have clarity for principles. Principles want to know that we can do this work. Principals want to know that we'll be able to execute and being able to be clear, direct, concise, and effective in our responses by using a framework like the STAR framework is a great way to demonstrate that. Now, I want to just direct your attention for just a moment. Go to the pinned comments below the video because in that video, I have a free gift for you that will, that will help to incorporate the STAR framework into your work. And so... Go to that pin comment and download that free gift that will give you a framework for how to use the STAR method within the interview process. All right, let's talk about our strategy or our tip number two for interview preparation. All right, so the second tip that we wanna give you for interview preparation, if you have an interview this week, is have a, what we'll call a why you answer. Why you for this job today? Why you for this job on this campus? Why you for this job in this grade level? Why you for this job in this department? And this is about getting really clear about your philosophy, getting really, really clear about who you are, what you believe, what your values are as an educator, this is an opportunity for you to connect effectively and authentically on a individual level. And this is different. This is, for me, this is very different than researching what the school's values are and then what your values are. 
it's different because this one, I want you to go a little bit deeper. I want to, I want to know if I was a principal sitting across from you and I asked you why you, I don't expect you to regurgitate the school's mission or the school's vision. But what I do want to hear is what has driven you to want to become an educator? Why do you care about educating kids? Why do you care about serving a community? Why do you care about changing outcomes for people? Big people, little people, big people. You will be tasked with being a part of a team, being a part of a culture, being a part of, of a family. So why you? Why have you joined this family? Why you? Why put you in front of 30 kids, 30 precious, beautiful children. Why, why you? That's the question. And you've got to be able to answer that because I care because I'm committed because I've always wanted to be an educator. I've always wanted to share all the things that I learned. I had a teacher when I was a kid who inspired me and made me want to be a better human being. And because of them, I now want to be able to give the same thing to my students. So the question for you as you prepare for your interview this week is why you grapple with that. Think about that. Have a great deeply reflective, deeply personal, authentic response to that question. Because that could be the connective glue that helps push you above and beyond all the other candidates that a principal might be considering. And that is tip number two. All right, interview preparation technique number three. Many times people forget to do this. I don't know why they don't spend the time thinking about how important this really is. So the final tip I'm going to give you for this episode is ask thoughtful questions at the end of the interview. Thoughtful. Now, now let's go back to the power strategy, the things you learned about the school, the things that the school is, is passionate about, the things that they care about, the things that they're celebrating the achievements, their calling card. You should be thinking about asking a really important question about those achievements, about those signature programs. Don't give up the real estate of being able to stake a flag in the ground around who you are as a candidate by asking some thought provoking questions. Asking the principal a thought provoking question around what is your vision for the dual language immersion program that I see has has been growing for the last three years at on the school's campus? What is your long term vision? How do you see it growing? How do you see it developing? Are you experiencing any challenges with your dual immersion program? I see that you guys have a pretty robust coding and robotics program. I'm super excited about coding and robotics. What types of professional development and learning opportunities are there for staff who want to be involved and want to be a part of a coding or robot or robotic or robotics program, excuse me. Asking a thoughtful question again reiterates your preparation, your insightfulness about the program, but also the fact that you've done due diligence and also that you are someone who wants more information and wants to go deeper, which is exactly what we as principals and as school leaders, it's exactly what we're looking for. People who are thoughtful, insightful, engaging, interactive, right? So don't give up the opportunity. Don't miss the opportunity to ask a powerful question that will again, keep kind of putting some markers in the principal's mind about who you are as a candidate and what types of things that you can offer. 
Never, ever, ever give up that space. And so share with us in the comments below, what are the types of questions that you think are interesting or important to ask at the end of an interview? Share that with us in the comments below because we wanna be able to grow that information. We wanna give some tips and some insights for folks to be able to utilize and bring forth the conversation to make sure that we're, we're sharing and growing this community. Lots of information is available and we wanna make sure we share it out with folks. And as you think about that interview that you're preparing for going into this week, use these concrete strategies Make sure that you're aligning your vision with the school's vision because you've done your due diligence. Thinking about your personal teaching philosophy and laying and layering and aligning that with the school's vision and what they're saying. And if you want more information about how to, uh, how to construct a powerful personal teaching philosophy, you can check out this next video it's going to give you all of, it's going to give you a specific script. It's going to give you a very tangible way to develop a teaching philosophy. I shared it with you in that video. So go check that video out. It's going to help you. It's going to grow your skills, knowledge, and your confidence as you go into the next interview. All right. And if you want more information, again, go to that pinned comment to get that free gift, but also check the description below because we have information about our weekly newsletter, about coaching, about mentoring, about support and resources that are available for the folks in our community. We're going to grow this community to 10,000 educators and beyond. And so thank you so much for your support. We're going to keep building this, keep growing this. All right. So check out that next video and we'll see you on our next episode. Be well, take care of each other, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, everyone.